what's going on guys if you've been watching the channel long uh, you know that I sleep in the back of the Jeep so that means I have to come up with some pretty creative storage solutions uh, so I got very creative I took uh, three front runner boxes and turned it into almost like a, a bar height storage table uh, I don't have a name for it uh, you may think it is crazy insane or you might think it's genius and you want to build one uh, so in this video I'm gonna show you how I put this together with just a few pieces of wood some wine corks some screws and some washers a little bit of black paint and uh, you know hopefully I'll be able to make good use of it when I'm uh, out on the trail I uh, don't know exactly what I'm doing out here in the bitter cold filming this video so uh, let's take it back to the garage So we are back here uh, in the garage, a little nicer uh, temperature in here, not getting dumped on, and much better for filming. So uh, before I get into the build and uh, how I created this storage table, uh, if you will, uh, I want to explain to you why I'm even making this video in the first place. I didn't even think it would be something that I uh, would do. Uh, but a few weeks ago, maybe three weeks, uh, me, Rhino Off-Road and uh, Fly Fisher 530 went on a uh, snow wheeling trip with Ed Shin. And when Ed put out his video, uh, all of a sudden there was a few comments in there. I started getting uh, messages on Instagram about what is that table looking thing, storage box, what the heck is it, right? And so uh, I started answering those questions back and questions just kept coming. So, uh, from that perspective, I wanted to give you just a quick and easy how-to on building this. Like I said earlier, you may think this is the dumbest thing in the world. That's okay. Uh, but this may be a great solution for you for storage uh, when you're out uh, camping, overlanding, uh, whatever it may be. So, let's get into uh, the details of the build. Uh, I've obviously already built it, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through uh, what you need uh, and how to put it all together. It's a quick, easy, you know, just a couple hour project. Uh, this is how long it took me. So uh, here we go. Okay, so first let's talk about the legs. Uh, obviously four legs. Um, I have a very uh, special carrying case that I made for them. It's an old sock. Um, holds them all together, keeps them from flopping around in the back of your rig when you're uh, driving. But uh, pull the sock off. And uh, let me just grab one leg here. Okay, so uh, each leg, pretty easy to make. Uh, this is a one by three by four. And uh, you do have to check and just make sure, you know, the measurements on a one by three by four, again, four feet long. Uh, I'm a pretty tall guy. You could probably do, and I honestly cut this down to whatever size you want. Um, but when, it, when it's a one by three, it's not exactly one inch here and three inches here. Uh, usually that's uh, you know two and three quarters um, by three quarters of an inch here. So I'll put the measurements, exact measurements of this uh, here on the screen below, uh, just so you know exactly what you need to pick up. And then a few unique characteristics here. Each leg spray painted black. I also put a little bit of a spray clear coat over it and uh, that keeps it nice and uh, weather resistant. Uh, so far it's held up very well out in wet conditions. And then uh, what do you need to do to the leg to make it able to uh, slide into the bottom of these front runner wolf pack boxes? Um, I'll show you how that uh, works here in just a second. First thing you need to do is you need to just kind of shave off one of the corners here. And I just did this with a pocket knife you know, nothing special. You don't need uh, any special saw for that or anything. Uh, so I shaved off this corner. Hopefully you can see how it's kind of uh, curved off here. All the other corners, just leave them uh, as they are. What I did next 
drilled a hole here. Uh, I'll put the uh, drill bit size uh, in the bottom corner for you as well. Uh, the reason for this hole is this hole matches up with these pre-cut holes that are on the Front Runner Wolfpack boxes. So as you slide the leg in, the holes match up, and uh, that's why you saw me putting these, uh, it's actually just some wine corks, uh, into the side of the uh, Front Runner boxes, which goes into this hole and keeps the legs uh, in place. So the legs are really easy to make, and honestly, once you've made the legs, uh, you're, you're pretty close to being done with the project. All right, so now let's take a look at the boxes and how I connected them together. Uh, I'm gonna first just reassemble it really quick so I can get some good shots uh, of it there uh, with the camera. Hang on just a second. Okay, so uh, first things first, how do the legs uh, go into the front runner boxes? If you look under here, you can see they slide right in. I'm gonna show you over here. There's these holes that go all the way up. They go all the way up to the top of the front runner box. And so a one by three slides in just perfectly. Here, the uh, wine cork, you can see uh, the top of the one by three. That's where I drilled the hole. And the point of the wine cork is once you put that in, it obviously keeps the uh, leg from sliding back out. Now, um, how did I connect the boxes together? Again, just some, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be one by three. It could be really just about anything uh, that you want. I wanted it just to be really clean. So I used one by three under here as well. Also painted them black so they'd be uh, ultra clean uh, when you're looking at it. It looks nice and finished. And uh, those are attached super easy. Let me show you how those are attached in here. I went ahead and emptied the box so that you could see how I attached it. Take the lid off. And inside the front runner box, there are actually pre-drilled holes. Um, I think it's just kind of for some ventilation so that stuff in your boxes don't get, uh, you know, moldy or whatever. But I used those and uh, bought some big washers and some screws, uh, screws that were just long enough. Um, I actually don't know what size screws I used, but just long enough to go through the box and uh, into the one by three underneath, but not all the way through, right? So uh, it just went partially through uh, the one by three underneath there. And uh, on the end, Go ahead and open this up for you. It's just a little bit different. I have some uh, bags in here. On the end, there were those um, pre drilled holes, or you know, they're just holes um, in the front runner boxes. And then I did go ahead and drill a couple extra ones here and here with some washers. Um, because the one by three that I used did not go the full length of the um, boxes here. Uh, so you see there's a little bit of a gap right there that um, if you look underneath, the one by threes don't go all the way to the end. To be honest, you could do this just about however you like. Um, it might be good to have the one by three go to the end, maybe it'll give a little more, um, you know, kind of strength, but I've had no issues so far with regard to this. So now let's talk about kind of the measurements here. One thing you do have to be um, sure of is when you're attaching the uh, one by three underneath, you need to have this gap right here be uh, just big enough to make sure that both lids can um, uh, be put back on very easily. So there's with one lid on, and you can see that gap is now just a little bit tighter. Put the next lid on, and you can see they pretty much just line up with each other perfectly right here. Um, 
if you're attaching the one by threes and you have the lids off and you just squeeze these uh, boxes together, uh, you'd find out after the fact, after you've attached them, when you go to put the lids on, uh, that the lids won't uh, be able to be put on. All right, let me show you what I have in my storage boxes here, starting with uh, what's kind of like my kitchen box. I've got my Jetboil Genesis and a few uh, pans, some fuel, some cooking items, etc. And then I have the uh, drop-in boxes. I'll put the real name uh, on the screen here, also from Front Runner. I uh, haven't fully uh, outfitted this yet. Just kind of put some stuff in on my first uh, trip using it last time. So some more fuel, all my coffee stuff, my MSR, and a uh, few miscellaneous items down here. Paper plates, utensils, etc. Some paper towels, some towels, and um, oh, a Diet Dr. Pepper bonus. One really great thing about this setup is when you're out camping, your storage boxes are not on the ground, so they're not gonna get muddy. Sure, they're gonna get wet uh, if it's raining, etc. but you're not gonna have to deal with mud uh, and all of those things. Another thing, uh, on the last trip I took, it was very windy the first night, and I had this fully set up just standing by itself. It wasn't propped up against anything, and uh, it withstood some pretty strong winds. I think the wind just really goes right underneath it. You know, there's not a lot uh, of surface area here to catch the wind up high, but you know, in terms of stability, it is, you know, it'll, it'll kind of wobble like that a little bit, but it's actually pretty difficult to knock it over. So that was a uh, plus as well. All right, so uh, that's the video. Um, I do want to make one note. These are the original uh, front runner boxes, the Wolfpack uh, boxes. They did come out with a front runner Wolfpack Pro. It has kind of like some upgraded uh, hinges or uh, snaps here uh, to close it. Uh, I have no idea if this process will work with the Pros, but obviously with the originals, uh, this works just fine. And uh, you'll know you're buying the originals if you do this uh, project because I think they're 10 bucks cheaper or something like that per box uh, versus the pros. Uh, I've got no sponsorship here, uh, nothing like that. Not trying to sell you guys anything. Just trying to give you uh, what might be a crazy idea uh, or for you it might be a really good idea uh, for your storage solution while uh, you're out on the trail uh, overlanding, uh, camping, etc. Um, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, etc. I'm happy to uh, give you any additional info that you might need in order to build uh, this for yourself. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for joining me.